Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope you guys are having a fabulous Monday morning. Hey, today we're just going to do something simple. I started my diet today, guys. I won't call it a diet, but I will call it a lifestyle change. Um, This morning, instead of me having a big breakfast like eggs, grits, bacon, you know, uh, waffles that includes um, high carbs, of high sugar, syrup, and things like that, I thought I'd just break it down to a one-hit wonder, better known as the better things that I love the most. It's going to be a cheese egg omelet. So, guys, hold on for just a second. We're going to get it started, and here we, how we make it down in the south. Here we go. First of all, you got to have your eggs. So, I'm going to take two eggs, guys, two eggs. Before you get the day started, always remember, always remember, guys, never, ever, ever miss the most important thing, breakfast. I got a lot of things going on. I got to go to the hairdresser today, guys. Got to get the nails done. Um, probably going to work in the yard and a bunch of homework, guys. I am working on dual degrees. And if you don't know, I'm a uh, military. I've been in the military now over 30 years. And today is one of my many days off because within the next five years, I'll be retiring, but... Since I've been army so long, I could take a couple days off because every uh, year we get at least 30 days. And I haven't been on leave, guys, in a while. I mean, annual leave in a long time, probably about six or seven years. And we don't use, you lose them. So I have decided to take uh, five days for the next six months to, uh, you know, burn up my leave. So guess what I'm doing this morning, guys? Cooking. So if you just hold on just for a second. I'm going to get my spatula going on. And uh, this morning, guys, I decided uh, cooking with uh, saturated oil. I decided to go with an olive oil. And with an olive oil, basically what you need is just a little bit, not too much for your eggs. So... What I'm going to do is go ahead and place the spatula here. You guys can see that. Get it going and uh, get my little olive oil going. And you guys know what I like to use. It's called Crisco olive oil. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit. Not too much, guys. Um, basically, I use um, add about a tablespoon. Depending on how much I'm, for many people I'm cooking. But it's just for me today. So, I'm going to break this down into two small meals with two apples or, you know, something with a fruit. You know, I always want to get some fruit because I remember when I was growing up, my mother used to tell me an apple a day will keep that cold away. But apples are a very good source of vitamin A, B, C, and D because, you know, fruit is what it is. And I like to say an apple a day will keep the doggies away. <laughs> so, basically what we're going to do is get the grease going. Very easy, guys. It's normally about five minutes, so I'm just doing more of my talking. And I like to go ahead and just take my fingertips, which I already washed my hands, guys. I always wash your hands before you cook so you can cut down on the flu or whatever. And I'll grease my pan so the egg won't stick and it'll be an easy wash. And you guys remember that uh, there was little um, spatulas that came back in the day. You know, you put the egg and you put the little uh, diamond letters or whatever, and it just come out real easy without no stick. Well, these are not one of these spatulas, so I got to put a little grease on it, guys. So, But anyway, you want to just get your little oil just like that, right? Not too much. And so the next thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and carry it on. I cut it on about seven just to get it going. And uh, I'll just take my cheese, um, find a little knife here, and just cut it up into small pieces. And I love cheese, guys. And this right here is a low-fat cheese that I've got from... The special uh, Arab shop down the road, and basically, it is goat milk without the fat. So I'll take about, uh, let's just say about four slices. I'll go ahead and just place it in there, and I'm gonna put the cheese up. And the next thing you want to do now is just go ahead. I get a little fork and just uh, stir it up. I'm trying to wait for my, my 
spatula to get hot, you know, get it going. So I'll just turn up into a little seven here. And in the meantime, I'll just go ahead and, you know, beat up my eggs. Normally I would take the yolk out, but this day I want to get that, the extra protein, a little bit of fat. Because you want a little bit of fat because, you know, you got to have fat to, you know, give our skin that collagen and everything else. I don't just stir it up. A lot of people just like to take the yolk out, but honey, I think the yolk is where all the good nutrition and the good ingredients at. And so, you eat eggs in moderation, you know, you don't get all of that, you know, I don't have high blood cholesterol, high cholesterol and all that, so, you know, this is okay for me, because I'm just going to work it out when I go for my morning run, which is about four miles today, so, I'm going to need all of that, but the one thing I won't do is eat carbs this morning, guys, because what I want to do, I'm trying to decrease my fat intake for another four or five, I'm going to lose about four or five, uh, pounds of fat within the next 30 days so I'll just decrease my fat by 10% so while that's going you know you want to get the bubbly instead of me just scrambling I think I'm going to make an omelet so I'm going to add my onions Guys, we got an onion. I like the dad. I love onions, guys. Onions always bring flavor to anything that you're cooking. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and chop up uh, some minced onions. Normally I would have minced onion powder, but this morning I think I'm gonna stick organic. Cut them up and cut them and dice them in small pieces. So you know, whatever you like. I love onions and everything. Give it so much flavor. I don't do too many onions though because you know. When you got to go out, the last thing you need to do is talk to somebody with some onion, bro. So, I'll use about a half a cup of onions. Sprinkle it lightly. And, uh, I'm going to just add a little bit more onions because, you know, onions and olive oil is very great. And while that's going, I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and put that away. And I like to uh, give it about a minute or so while it's doing that. And hopefully while that's going, oh wow, it's looking great already, guys. And uh, while that's going, you guys can see how it's beginning to bubble up, how it's about to transform, and I love it that way. Normally, I would have my uh, ham or whatever kind of meat you want to add to it, but I like to, you know, go ahead and get it, you know, going so you don't have to, you know, mess it up. It, it's just become a beautiful flat surface. I mean, guys, it looks great. So now... With that being said, I add a little bit of salt, not too much. And one thing, guys, I learned in Africa, it was called a, a, a pata, ego pata. Basically, they make them like this, and they add all the ingredients. And the one thing they always add in is rice. And uh, you know, add your little vegetables or whatever. So many things I've learned in the military how to cook, because one thing I've always learned, love to do, is cook, cook, cook. And I said, when I retire from the military, I was going to have my own diner. I went to a culinary arts school. I used to be a quartermaster, dining facility manager. One of the many jobs that I had in the military when I first started out, guys. Wow. But hey, man, every, the world loves to cook. And I always said I was going to be a famous chef. You know, when you got two grown kids, you learn how to cook. And, you know, sometimes you don't have time to cook all you want to. So, But we'll get it going, guys. And it's smelling real great. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Oh, God, it's looking so great. It's so beautiful. And I'm just going to end it like that. I like to check up under it. And uh, you guys see it's going very well. So I'll just take the middle part. And as you guys see, it's going great. 
Okay, so I'm gonna flip it over. Oh yeah, beautiful. You guys gonna see it. it's gonna be very beautiful. It looks like old pancake, doesn't it? I like it. There we go. And in that bottom, that excess oil comes out. I like to make sure it's pretty. So instead of a fork this time, I'm going to switch to a spatula, guys, because it's so much easier. I'm not so much better. So while this doing that, I'm going to pat it down a little bit. And then what I'll do is just take it and I should have guessed I should put, it, put it in the middle. But it's okay. And this is what I call... A cheese and egg pate. Instead of a scramble, you know, you just do it like an omelet and make sure it gets just like it wants to. You flip it over. One flip. There we go, guys. Ooh, it's smelling great. And so while that's going, while that's going, I'm going to put it down on three. I'm going to get me a little saucer because, hey, guys, it's just a one hit wonder. It is time to take it out, guys, and just sit it to the side right there. Ooh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So all that cheese is oozing out. Oh, my God, the cheese is just like on pizza. So I'll just put that extra bit on there to give it a little bit of seasoning and color. Look at the beautiful color, guys. It is amazing. So I'll just put the spatula away because I have to do the dishes later. And the one thing I want to add to it that makes it very, very special is apple you know you can do your thing the way you want to so i'm just going to cut up a small apple here look in the refrigerator and get a good apple i love to eat healthy guys and here we go and i know you guys are like oh my gosh she has no food in the refrigerator but see hey i threw, threw all the way to junk food guys we're talking about cookies cakes we're talking about 70 dollars worth of junk food guys because you know what when i decide to go on a diet i'm gonna go go straight to it you know hey when you want to lose that weight and get to that desired weight and you're doing it for yourself. And then, you know, you being in the military like me, you got people hooked up to you because you can't be in the military overweight, guys. You know, they would kick you out. So I try to keep my weight down, not just for the army, because of me, because I like to keep it, uh, keep it simple. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this apple out. So bear with me. I'm trying to do it one hand and uh, I kind of sprained my hand, ankle in my hand yesterday outside doing cartwheels and backflips with my grandson. And it was great. I just haven't did a backflip in a long time. But, you know, and I realized I said, oh, my God, no wonder I've hurt my arm because I need to lose a little weight here. So I'm going to lose about 25 pounds in the next 30 days. But this is day one of my diet. And so what I'll do is cut the apple in two. And... There we go. And add a little flavor to it. Wow. And so that's going to be my breakfast this morning. Along with my morning coffee. And guys, I hope you have a great day. And if you ever, ever, ever want some great recipes to lose weight. And you can add a little color. I like to add a little color, you know, to, just to give it, you know, your thumbnail or whatever for your YouTube channel. So, you know, it depends on how you want to do it. And sometimes, you know, I may add a little parsley here. It depends on what I'm doing. But since I'm at home and I want it to be less than 15 minutes, this is your one-hit wonder. Have a blessed day, guys. And I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And don't forget, if you're trying to lose weight, always, always eat that um, uh, first breakfast. You work out on an empty stomach, do at least 30 minutes of cardio or weight training. And then you'll know, wait about an hour or so, drink some water, and then you'll be ready for breakfast. And don't forget your vitamins, guys. Happy Monday. God bless.